valves are generally used to allow, stop, and control fluid flow. In this video, we will see how to inspect the globe control valve with a pneumatic double acting spring loaded actuator. This, this is how fluid flows on the globe valve. Flow up and flow down are two types used in globe body. Some others like plug valves, butterfly valves, gate valves, and check valves also used in the valve industry. This is the construction of the globe valve. We will see what the main component are used to construct the globe valve. Before valve assembly, we check the hydrostatic pressure test on the body and bonnet. This is the globe valve body and bonnet. In that globe, the body is different from another valve. If we want to see one side to the other side through the valve, we cannot dot because there is some partition between the flange. So now we are performing a hydrostatic pressure test for checking the integrity of the valve body and bonnet. Before the hydrostatic pressure test, make sure the valve body and flange serration are visually in good condition. After that valve inlet and outlet port are covered with testing flanges. Bonnet also covered with suitable end connections for holding pressure in the side valve. Fix the pressure gauge on one of the blind flanges to monitor pressure drop. Now the setup is ready to test. With reference to valve testing standards, increase the pressure as per procedure with a certain holding time. Make sure there is no pressure drop and leakage not absorbed during the inspection. After completing the valve assembly, first, we need to check the seat leak test. How much leak is present in the valve closed condition? Fix the valve on the test panel. Increase the pressure as per test standard at valve closed condition. Record the leakage absorbed using the SCFH meter connected to the outlet flange. That leakage value should be within the allowed leakage class. We will check the body and bonnet leak test and stem packing leak test. First, we raise the pressure body and bonnet with the valve open condition. Then pour soap on the stem packing area. After that pour soap oil into the body and bonnet joint. Make sure there is no bubble form. Now we check the calibration of the valve positioner. We increase the signal milliampere to 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Also, check valve moment with respect to the corresponding signal. Valve will move smoothly without any delay. After that, we check the stroke timing using a stopwatch. Record valve movement from open to close and close to open. The stroke time should meet the customer's requirement. We will check the failed action. As per customer requirement, valve designed. Valve remains open or closed whenever signal and air failure. Now we unplug the air connection to check the valve position. Valve remains closed because this failed action closed the valve. Now we unplug signal connection to check the valve fail action.